Ooh. Oh, goodness. Oh, little babies. Ah, T-Rex. Oh, 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 hey, everybody. Yeah, I just got this really cool um, viewfinder. Actually, I used to have one of these when I was a kid, and I found them again, and I was so excited. Since we're focusing on Jesus, I had to get one of these things to focus in on some pictures. But I have to tell you, these particular pictures are of dinosaurs, and as cool as dinosaurs are, they can be a little bit scary, right? I don't think I want to meet a T-Rex or a Velociraptor out in public. And this week in Kingdom Kids, we are going to be talking about things that make us scared. We're talking about fear. I don't know what are the things that scare you. I know when I was a kid, it used to be scared of the dark, or I used to be scared of being scared. My brother loved to like jump out at me, and I'd get startled. Um, there's a lot of things that scare us, right? Either things that are big things that are tr real, honest fears, and then other things that are kind of silly, like your brother trying to scare you in a turn when you're turning the corner. But today we're talking about how Jesus is bigger than our fears. And I have kind of a cool experiment that I thought we could do to really um, show what it means for Jesus to be bigger than our fears. So I have a bottle of water and a, and a glass bowl. It doesn't have to be glass, but a bowl that can hold water and some black pepper. This is our fear, everybody, so you need to make sure you have a, a good amount. And then I have um, a bar of soap. Now, this is one of those hotel soaps, so it's a little bit smaller than a regular bar of soap because you don't need one that's very big. So this might be a good experiment for you to do um, with your dads because, hey, today is Father's Day. So I forgot to say it at the beginning, but happy Father's Day to all the dads, and this would be a really cool experiment to do with him. So come in a little bit closer, and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do, all right? Come on in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some water and we're gonna fill our bowl with it. So let me pour some water in. It doesn't have to be real deep. This can be kind of shallow. Um, in fact, that's good to have a shallow bowl of water. Okay, so now we're gonna add our fear or our pepper. So what are some things that we are afraid of? Hmm. Well, I talked about dinosaurs, which might be a little bit silly, but you know, things that are big and maybe an animal, maybe you're scared of dogs, maybe you're afraid of, um, I don't know, snakes, something like that. We can shake that in there. There you go. Um, what are some other things we're afraid of? I said the dark. Definitely. I can be afraid of the dark. Um, sometimes we can be what afraid of spiders oh yeah spiders definitely my husband's really afraid of spiders don't tell him that i told you um how about things like uh, oh being home alone or you know if mom and dad have to go somewhere real quick even just around the block and you're kind of afraid or maybe you're um afraid of um <clears> hmm <throat> I don't know, there's a lot of things. I'm not thinking of something else right now, but I know that there's a lot of things that I'm afraid of. And so that's what you can do right now is you can take a minute to kind of think about some things that you're afraid of. And then every time you think of a new one, you can shake that into your bowl. So these are all of our fears. And it sometimes when we're afraid of something, fear can kind of take over. It can just feel like it's everywhere. And so what I'm gonna show you is an experiment that kind of shows you what Jesus does. When we call on Jesus and we ask him to help us when we're afraid, what he can do to kind of move that fear out and move it away from us. So come in a little bit closer and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some other things. I actually found a pencil, I have a quarter, I have a, um, um, I have a paper clip, just some other things to see if it's gonna work as well as Jesus does. So I'm gonna try this. 
So let's say I'm afraid of something and I just decide I'm really gonna think about it and I'm gonna say, um, okay, I'm just not gonna be afraid. Let's see what happens. Mm. It didn't do much to move the pepper, did it? In fact, it kind of clung to it, <laughs> made it a little bit worse. Um, what are some other things? How about this paper clip? We're gonna see if this is gonna move that pepper. Nope. In fact, it just, now we have a peppery paper clip. Okay, how about a pencil? Pencils are kind of sharp at the edge. I'll even put the lead out. Let's see if this is gonna move it. Hmm, nope, didn't do it. Well, all right, time for the soap. We're gonna see if the soap is gonna move this pepper. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? This soap just moves that, that pepper right out of the way, just the way that Jesus, when we call on him and we ask him to help us, can move our fears out. That's pretty awesome. So that was fun, right? So I don't know what you're afraid of, but the next time you look at soap or maybe shake some pepper on your dinner, remember that Jesus can help you face your fears. Faith reminds us that there is no fear bigger than Jesus can handle. In both our preschool and our elementary lessons today, we are learning from the life of Paul. And I'm so excited for you to watch the lesson and to see what happens in his life when he focused on Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray to start our day together. And then I'm going to invite you to click on the link to watch today's lessons. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you so much for today. I thank you for the lessons that we can learn, Lord, that you are bigger than our fears, that faith is bigger than our fears, that Jesus, you can handle anything that comes our way because you are bigger than our fears. And so, Lord, I pray that we remember that. And also, Lord, we just thank you for our dads and our grandpas and the men who have stepped up and stepped into our lives, who are um, helping us and teaching us and being important in our lives. And so, Lord, we thank you for them and we pray your blessing on them. Lord, and I pray that you would help us to have a really good Sunday and that our study today, our lesson today would remind us just how much you care for us, that you love us, Lord, and that you are with us every single moment of every single day. We thank you and we love you for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I encourage you to click on the link and watch the lesson. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Father's Day.